Okay, I am coming at you today with one of my absolute favorite topics, social media marketing, because I have so many clients that resist it, all right? And I get all of these excuses and why they resist it. I hate social media. It's too political. It's the same thing over and over. It's hard to compete against the noise. All the conversations are surreal. Like it creates imposter syndrome. It like messes with my mental capacity. I just hate it, okay? But here's the reality. If you're gonna be in the online space, social media is a necessary evil if you wanna consider it an evil. I don't, like I consider social media such a powerful asset to my business. But, and I want you to make that shift. I wanna get you there also. Because when you can get there, it's so incredibly powerful, number one, but it's fun. It can be so fun. 90% of you that are listening to this podcast right now, I met through social media. Like I can't think of one person in my Facebook group or in um, listening to this podcast or any of my clients that I have not met through some form of social media, okay? And so how do you do that? And here's what I want you to do. There's a couple things, a couple tips, all right? One is, one of the biggest things I get with Facebook, let's just dive into Facebook quick because it's still one of the biggest, largest social media platforms, is that you don't want people, you don't like to accept friend requests from people that you don't know, right? Because they, you you post pictures of your kids, you, uh, you know, you stay in touch with your family there. But here's the thing. If you are active in Facebook groups, you are active on your personal profile. So if you write a comment and somebody wants to connect with you, they are clicking on your personal profile. If it is so locked down that they cannot even send you a message, they can't send you a friend request, they can't see anything about you, you are 100% missing out. And I will be honest in telling you, I am not the only person that feels this way. If I can't see what you do, I can't connect with you easily, I don't do business with you, right? Because it's just a pain in the, like you, you've made it too hard for me to contact you. So if you are not comfortable with it, and I get that, I want you to set up a separate personal profile that you use for business only because social media is a tool. Facebook is a tool. It's an asset to your business, all right? So if you don't wanna post pictures of your kids, so be it, that's fine, I get it. There's a ton of perverts out there, right? So create another social media profile with your name and it doesn't have to be a different name. It can be a different name if you want. It could be your first, you know, it could be your maiden name. It could be something else. But again, like if it doesn't match up to your website, it doesn't match up to your email, it could be confusing. So I highly suggest you use your name. Um, and use that to interact for, from a business perspective. That way on your personal profile, you can post business related tips and tricks, you can create value posts, you can go live, you can do different things. So number one, do that. Number two, if you don't like seeing political and nonstop and all this other shit that people love to talk about, get rid of it. Curate your feed. Friend requests, this, and this holds true with every single platform. So now we're talking LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, all the social media platforms. Curate your feed to be the things you enjoy interacting with, okay? If you don't enjoy interacting with politics, then delete the people that talk about politics. Unfriend them, get rid of them, block them, don't talk to them. Like, it's not that hard. Every single person on my Facebook feed, I love to talk to, and same on LinkedIn. Like, if somebody sends me a connection request on LinkedIn and I look at their active or their most recent like articles and different things that they've posted and it's nothing that I can interact with or any kind of create any kind of engagement, I don't necessarily always accept the connection because why? I don't have anything to add to them. They probably don't have a whole lot they can add to me. Like curate your feed and talk to the people that you like to talk to. You know, that it's not that hard. Like go through and friend request. If you work primarily with service-based entrepreneurs in the freelance space, search that in like search it and make those connections because then you're guaranteed to be able to have things that you can talk about. You can post relevant content to them. They will see it, right? Like 
make social media fun for yourself. If there's people on there, if you've connected with people on any of the platforms that give you imposter syndrome, that stir up comparisonitis, like get rid of it. Get rid of it. You don't have to friend everybody and you don't have to follow them. Like, do you honestly think they're looking at their profile like, oh, hey, Michelle blocked me. They probably don't even know like I was following them. Like a couple big name coaches I was following, but they started posting stuff that I just like didn't agree with and it was just bugging me. So I stopped following them, blocked them. Do you think they care? No, right? Like stop thinking that people care so much. They really don't like, and I don't mean that to be rude, but I'm just being honest. Stop assuming that people are going to even notice because the reality is, is they're so focused on themselves that they're not really noticing. Okay. And if somebody does, there's room for conversation or not, but guess what? 90% of the time, they're not going to notice. <laughs> I'm just telling you. So curate it because social media is so incredibly powerful. Pick the platform that you love hanging out with on and curate it to be things that you enjoy and things that are going to grow your business. Connect with your ideal client. Connect with your ideal strategic partnerships. Connect with people that have a similar audience so that when you comment on their material, their audience sees it. Now, obviously that works the best on LinkedIn, but on the other platforms, it still does. Like if you share their content, if they share yours, etc. like collaborate, have conversations real conversations, not like, oh my God, so awesome. I agree. Love this. Like, don't give bullshit comments. Go in and make conversation with people because I promise you it's a lot of fun and it's not that exhausting. You guys are making it so exhausting because you're making it out to be this big thing. It's not. Scroll your feed, make conversations, move on. Like curate it. If, some, if you don't like something, block, delete, goodbye. That's the beauty of social media. You can say goodbye to people just as fast as you accept them. So if they piss you off or they bug you, get rid of them. But guess what? There's far more nice people out there than the few that are a pain in the, in, in the neck, okay? So use it because social media is an asset. Yes, you don't own it. Yes, there's other things you need to be doing in order to maintain like your list because we can't rely on social media. But while it's here, Use it because it is a powerful, powerful asset. So stop hating it and find a way to love it because I'm telling you, you're costing yourself so many opportunities for collaboration and clients, conversations, strategic partnerships, referrals, opportunities to speak. You never know. You never know who's looking, right? Like people search hashtags, speaker, keynote, et cetera. Like if you aren't there, they can't find you. So use social media for what it is, okay? And just block out the rest of it because there's always gonna be garbage on there. But don't let that deter you because the powerful benefits of it far outweigh the little bit of garbage, okay? I promise you, I promise. I've built my entire business through social media. Honestly, I mean, it's true. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for social media. So get on there and utilize it to your power and your benefit. All right. I'll talk to you soon.